Ben is a really good guy and really helped me raise my son. He helped me become more responsible as a man and really understand um, that it is your heart that you have to give. You battle with religion, you battle with politics, you battle with health, you battle with all these things, but he always did it from a genuine place. And I talked to him the day before he passed. This dude called me like three in the morning, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I had to be up at six. And he says, you know, when I pass, I want people to remember me as being a person who always told the truth. And what was interesting about that is that because he always made sure that he didn't step on people's toes when he talked about those tough issues. I felt like he always did tell the truth. He told his truth. And it really allowed us to, you know, grow as human beings. So I just wanted to say it's wonderful seeing everybody. And uh, he loved a lot of guys. Like he told me personally about your names and call and stuff. And it was really appreciative. I don't know what <laughs> Thought of, he already thought of. He's like, yeah, we can do this business. 
know, and, and I'm like a peaceful brother, and he got me in the guns. <laughs> Um, 
I'm not the only person that got those weird phone calls, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., schemes. I'm a photographer, and, and, and we, have, we all have a similar story. Like, I wasn't into guns. I, I, I didn't even like guns at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, but back in, like, I think, 05, um, we were on a digital platform, and James, I, I had a, a photo of a girl with a gun, my dad's gun. There was no bullets in it whatsoever. It was a revolver. And my first contact with James was he inboxed me. He said, hey, man, that gun is not loaded. <laughs> I see it, right? So I'm like, there's no way I'm going to take a photo of a model with a loaded gun. I don't know. You know what I mean? So um, the, the one thing, that, so back in our photography friendship, uh, he, 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 James and Lance, uh, he, he called us the Brothers of the Sand. I don't know why, but he gave us a name. That was the name of his Brothers of the Sand. I don't know how that relates to talking, but. That's what happened. Um, but he used to always call me or send me photos and ask me like questions like, so here, there was a picture of a girl in, in, the, in the kitchen, in the kitchen window. And he was like, what do you see about that photo? And I'm like, it's a girl in the kitchen window. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no, Kyrie, there's no glare from the flash. <laughs> like he, so he was, a, he was a, he's a detail guy, right? He was in the intricate detail of every single thing, even the friendships, right? Um, and then, and then uh, somehow, I started uh, about a year and a half ago, I, I got some guns. And then so he called me every day, um, just random stuff. Like one day he said, yo, Kyrie, um, do you have a silk pocket key? I said, what is that? He was like, well, when, the, when, when everything goes down, it's a key where if you can open up the, the, the water spigot in the back of the building. I was like, that's a Yeah. <laughs> Water straw, like everything. He's, he's on the yeah, and he's like, hey, go, let's go FaceTime. I'm like, I want FaceTime. Anyway, 